remembering that pitch, it was pathetic. It was so sad. Did it even make it over home plate? Well, I'm not going to say well, exactly. Okay. How do you throw? Do you throw it like this? Well, I do. I don't intend to. I start like that, and then it goes like that. Of course it does. Uh, this is not good painful. for me because I'm going to have to be your batter today. So yes, this, you I need are. To... Watch out. Oh, Watch oh out. I've seen you bowl. So if your pitching's like your bowling, oh my bowling uh, is so good, and you know it. Oh my. <laughs> my bowling. I have. I do. A you do a crossover. I, yeah, but I, I got a lot of strikes with that crossover, you did, baby. You yes, did, I you did. did. You beat me, Mario. I can't bowl or pitch. No. 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 I was not an athletic child. <laughs> uh, but I, we're so glad you're here, Mary Cantone. I am too. I am here. It is the season of giving, but is ever the season to give your significant other the boot? Oh. You know, this time of year, it turns out people are divided about holiday breakup etiquette. Some say you should wait until the festivities are over. Others say, no, 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 do it now so you'll have somebody lined up for New Year's. I mean, it's like, yeah. So what, oh, look, I can see where all of this. Oh, you're so, so cold-hearted. Done with them. Yeah, no, I've, I've been in this situation before. You, you, you stay in a relation sometimes for the holidays, maybe for a birthday. You don't want to hurt but the worst, feelings. You don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And then uh, the worst part is figuring out, okay, how far after Christmas do you yeah. break up with them so it doesn't look like you were going to break up with them before that. See, so. I'm the side of this. I, my boyfriend and I broke up December 1st, a long time ago, and I felt so bad I invited him to Christmas oh, that's because he had nowhere to go, and he was Jewish, and I thought, come home. My mom said it was the worst and most stressful holiday. Really? Because they felt like they had to keep the, uh, the fat, like, oh, the idea. you're really. the one who did the breaking up? It was a mutual, oh, but I was yeah. kind of like, just don't do it. Wait till And you after. invited him over? Because I, I, I have a heart. <laughs> do you not have a heart? No, I just would have stayed with him till after the holidays. Right. I love this time of year because it's a great time to catch up on movies but according to a new study that measures what parents think about the movies their kids see it turns out they are more worried about their kids seeing graphic sex than graphic violence do you agree? No, you think that's yeah. Okay, so when I was little, I yes. just remember my, I had a vivid move. I told this story. We have the same the story. story. The Godfather. Yeah. My parents. I was young, and I remember there was there's a big sex scene with James Caan. James Caan and like, my against was an the RCA door. And my parents disc, and my parents stopped it and turned it over and let me watch all the other violence, but the sex part. We all knew as kids. We're like, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. And my mom and dad would stop it. I'm like, ooh. Well, that's the most awkward thing. I went to the movies with my mother to see that, and there's James Caan wow. like going against. Oh. And I'm like, I, nye, 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 nye. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It's so horrifying. That's worse than sex and violence put together when you're with your mother and you're, you're watching. But it's interesting that the theory is that parents would rather have the kids watch something violent because they can explain to them, look, that was make believe and violence is never good. That's never good. But if it's a sex scene, that's a little more complicated. Not make believe. You can't say, yeah, no. and it's yeah, right. so really messed up. Sex. Parents are scared that if you talk about the sex and you acknowledge the sex, then your kids are going to go have sex. They're going to have sex regardless. So have open and honest yeah. conversations. About it. But the violence, though, the violence I can see. A lot, a lot of them, a lot of them are so busy having sex in the theater that they miss what's on the screen. Uh, oh, is that where did you get that idea? Really? What? I'm just saying, there's I, I a lot of sex that goes theater. on. There's I've never a lot of sex in the theater. Well, you know why? You don't Touching. do the popcorn. I had made out in the movie. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out. looking at you with a whole different no, set of lenses. I'm not talking that kind of sex. I'm talking like making it. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, Meredith, no. You've never made out in a movie. I've never made out in a movie. Because I want to watch the show. Afterwards, we will get busy. But I want to watch the movie. <laughs> when you were in junior high, it was like the only the place you could get away from your parents. Oh, yeah, it was. It was the captain of the baseball like, yeah. team. Yeah. I remember. No, no, no. no. I never forget when I was young and the first movie I saw that it didn't even really have sex and it was The Pink Panther. Oh. And I snuck out with my friend Lisa McDonald and we went to the movie theater and my parents showed up and they dragged me out of the theater because David Niven was kissing a woman on a bearskin a rug. Wow. Yeah. Did they come pull your hair out? No, but then, then they said, you're going home now, Ditsy, and no, I this left. this is how they did it. They came in and they were like, didn't, 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 didn't. Get out! Think of the Pink Panther. I'm I get sure so. You on now that song? What? Did I might have done a Converse reaction. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I still think that's a very sexy scene. It is. Actually, I think yeah. I actually a thought David Niven book. was so sexy, he is. Debonair. so debonair. That's so Dash. Debonair. Yes, that's mm. Dash. I love him. <laughs> anyway, I don't wear my wedding ring or my engagement ring because they were stolen. Okay, so anyway, oh. I know. What? Oh. They were? Where? Yes, they went, and we were moving. 
Oh. And they disappeared. They the worst. disappeared when you. They did, but I actually didn't wear them before that either because my. <laughs> it, um, it would turn my finger. I don't think it was real. Green. And it would turn my finger green. Oh, it's not it was like that. I think it was cheap. I would never. I would never. No. Well, you know what? We didn't have a lot of money, yeah, and I chose okay. to believe him, liar. You, and uh, so, <laughs> but anyway, I kept it in my jewelry box, and then when I, we when we moved, they were they disappeared. So, but but listen, the newest way couples are showing, yeah, their commitment means forever is by getting matching tattoos because it is cheaper. <laughs> you are so judgmental. Like it. It's it's a lot cheaper. You can individualize it. You know. Ask them how many of you tatted up for your partner. Yeah, How okay. many? What? Now, I got one. If you would do All this, right. clap if you would do it. She has yeah. done it. She's now. done it. She's oh, done it. She's done it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know several people that have done this. A lot of celebrities do this. Uh, but I like, in theory, this is a cool idea. It's yeah. romantic, I guess. But here's, here's the, the truth. Now, I have a tattoo on my finger. The worst thing ever. It hurt so bad. Do it for people. And then all... Yeah, I got it's my tear drop. Tear yeah. can't <laughs> see it. It's my first kill. And, uh, <laughs> but... The, what? 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 Yeah, terrible. That's terrible! Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> when it's on. Yeah, yeah but they... And they bleed, too. So if you oh. do the wedding, it's just gonna look like a mess after a couple of years. Oh. So well, it's and really how not do a you, good idea. How do you propose with a tattoo ring? Like, do you... I, I'm confused. You, you, I, think, I think you get very, very drunk, and then you go to a tattoo parlor, and, and you get, get a tattoo. But here's the thing. That's painful. This is easy to take off. I would rather just be like, see you later. Yeah, but, you know, all those guys who take off their ring when they go to a bar or party, they can the no longer take off the ring. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they can, I just oh. think... I think, you yeah. I think I think eventually you, re you regret tattoos when you get older because you can be all muscular and right. tight. Do you not have and any? Then I have no tattoos because then later, the, you know, the, you know the, the mountains are down here. But I, I, I had a... F my best friend, who I adore very much... Is this going to be true? She, I, I, this is okay. true. <laughs> I introduced her to a very handsome man about 10 years ago. They, they got together. Huh. And my best friend is, 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 does very well for herself. And she was going out with this, this guy, very good looking, and, and she, he didn't know what to get her. And she had everything. So we were in Italy together, and he got up at this fish restaurant, pulled his pants down, and he had her name tattooed right here. Oh, and, and we all were like, red alert! Red alert! Please! <laughs> Like what? We were all we like, can't okay, get so it removed. Oh, in that area, terrible. must you, you forget it? Oh, no, your lymph nodes will fall out. It's <laughs> horrifying. But that's no. where you do your. Yeah, I you have do one that in the more thing. fat area you have down there, the better. Like a bone, like his finger, it hurts a lot. Really this hard. one was you mushy, mushy, it. so it was uh, it was easy, peasy. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Moving on. If you slaved and saved to send your kid to college, does it pay off? In the end, I'm hearing a loud no. Someone yes. else. Well, listen. Yes. Wait a minute. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. According to the sincerity of the audience. No. Yes. <laughs> They're manic to today. To a new survey about higher education from Kaplan Test, you know that test prep company, yeah. and Money Magazine, only one in five parents polled think that the cost of a four-year degree is worth the value it delivers. And it's because it's so damn expensive to send kids to school now yeah, that when you're so talking 40 plus thousand at a private no, school so and up to 19, 20 at a public, it's, you can barely afford it. So is no. that's what they're yeah, discussing. It's sad that we it? have this outlook on education because, yeah. I mean, one, we have to figure out how to make college free for everyone. We, we have to do it. I mean, that's... Look at my college experience. I don't really remember what I was taught, but the people that I'm serious, but the people I met and the people in my life have affected me till now. And I'm here yes. today because of other people I met in college. So I had a different college experience. I think for me, college, the classroom was so important. And I know we share this. Right. It taught me to be a really good writer. Mm -hmm. What I learned in college, I use every day. I was an entrepreneurship major. If I didn't have that background and the exercise of going through a business plan and setting up a company, I would never be able to be successful at what I now, I went $20,000 in debt to graduate from a private university, and I would go in debt over and over again because it was so worth that yeah. investment yeah. in me. It was an investment in myself. It was worth my, But my mother... My mother was said it to me. She was like, "Why, why, why are you gonna? You want to be an actor? You go. You, you're not gonna go to college. What, what are you gonna go she to college for? To she didn't want me to go to college. And you did though. But I did. Oh, I because my sister and my father were like, well, "You're going to college." I went to college, and I'm glad I did. I, I mean, I did a lot of theater. I was in a group called the Emerson Comedy Workshop. I went to Emerson College in Boston. Yeah, which is a and, great college. And like you know, I learned how to do sketch comedy and write my own material, and and it was the most. And I learned to have sex. It was a very <laughs> valuable. <laughs> 